early 2000s, this was the designer steroid era, right? It's when they were of all course, over the counter. The clear. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, super draw, methyl super one. Draw. Yeah, remember that shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. methyl one, one test. And your, all. your liver would fall out after a week. <laughs> yeah, well, I had, you know, I was a kid. I was, I was just at the supplement store. I'm like, this works. Just take it. It's candy. Um, the irony of that, you would have been better off taking real steroids. I would have been better off then, buying you know? D ball on the black market yeah. or something like that. But yeah, it was because it was over the counter. So that's what I bought. Um, it reminds me of stuff like that. Like, I yeah. take it and I feel it. So, but I'm like, this is not to get lean. There's no way I could get lean on this because I just get too hungry. I'm interested in, because you said you were using a blend of IPA and Tessa. So for everybody listening, IPA and Tessa is by far the Rolls Royce Platinum Deluxe package of getting strong and building muscle with peptides. Okay. Those two peptides massively increase intercellular water retention, which as you know, is going to allow you to stretch your muscles, get better pump, be mm -hmm. stronger, have much better glycogen. It also enhances the enzyme. IPA and Tessa together, there's research that shows that it increases... Uh, glycogen synthase or whatever that enzyme is that allows for better glycogen okay. restoration. So oh, I did it one time in my life and you guys, it's the same thing as you. I was so strong, but mm -hmm. I literally was like looking down at my stomach and I'm like holding like two inches of water in my belly button. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, you know, I don't like yeah, this. Yeah, it's interesting. It is interesting. 